United States incarcerates more of its citizens than any nation around the world, and this includes its women. Little attention is shown to the conditions and circumstances of women's incarceration and what they face every day detained here in the United States. My research stems from years teaching theological education in a women's prison for Georgia. Over one third of the students I worked with were sentenced with life, prison, life sentences, meaning they would spend the majority of their life in prison. And what they were looking for was any uh, resource, any community that they could find that would help them make sense of their life and give their days some meaning while they were in prison. Students engaged texts they were familiar with, such as Holy Scriptures or the Bible. And then they encountered texts that they had never heard before, um, such as um, theologians. Uh, for many, they had no idea what theology was in the first place. Theology is our journey, trying to figure out who, what, and how <laughs> Uh, we live in a world with the possible existence of a transcendent being, a divine being, who some call God. But the point of the program was not only to engage in theological study as an academic discipline, but also to figure out what becomes of theology in the midst of a prison. My research with women in prison in particular have shown that people engage religion for many reasons while incarcerated. Um, some, it is a coping mechanism. It is what you hold on to to try and survive day in and day out. Uh, some engage religion in prison looking for um, a moral code of, of, of sorts, um, a guidebook for how to live your life that might give you another outcome than the one that got you into prison in the first place. And still others engage religion in prison um, in a much more expansive and creative way where they are no longer hindered by maybe only one tradition or only one practice. Now they are experiencing people they've never met before. They're hearing about religious traditions they've never heard before. And now they're seeking and searching and finding themselves open to learning from the diversity of religious traditions. And that's something that many people outside of prison never actually engage in themselves. When students describe the program, they say words like, I found my voice here. I didn't know I could accomplish something like this. I've learned to trust myself again. I found a community where I belong. One thing I learned um, teaching theology to women in prison um, that extends beyond prison is that most people, uh, especially when they've gone through a difficult time in their life, are looking to be reconnected with others, looking for a sense of belonging, a sense of um, meaning for their life, um, a sense of freedom. And when I mean freedom, I don't just mean physical freedom, but the freedom to be oneself. One student said it well, she says, theology saved my life. It was a matter of life or death for me, and it gave me something to live for. <laughs>